All right, we're joined by TSN Baseball Insider Steve Phillips. All winter, Jays fans have been wondering how Alec Manoa would look in 2024. Steve, the results early are not great. If you're the Jays front office right now, what are you thinking after Manoa's spring debut on Tuesday? Yeah, I think for Ross Atkins, he's got to be thinking and saying two different things. Now, publicly and to Manoa, he's going to be optimistic. He's going to rave about the velocity. The velocity was back, averaging 95 with that four-seam fastball. He looked more athletic on the mound. He turned the double play. They'll sell the positives. But what Ross Atkins is thinking is worst-case scenario, that what he thought might happen for Manoa certainly wasn't proven the first time out. And he's got to at least start to consider – with the worst case scenario, what to end up doing next. And so not panic, but some real serious concern in his mind right now. So that's what you'd be thinking. But what do you think the Jays should be doing right now, given all this uncertainty around Manoa? Well, first, they're going to sit down with Pete Walker and with, with Manoa and try to figure out what they need to do. Some of the mistakes he made were the same things he's been doing all along. He misses to the arm side. He hits right-handed batters. When he misses, he's inside to the right-handed batters. What are you going to do to get him fixed and back on track after that? But then after that, you've got to start thinking about personnel issues. So I think, first of all, you've got to get Ricky Tiedemann stretched out to potentially be that fifth starter because Manoa might not make the team. Uriel Rodriguez needs to get stretched out because he may be an option and a guy that maybe was fortuitous in signing him. And then Ross Atkins got to start looking at the free agent market. Mike Clevenger is out there. Michael Lorenzen is out there. And, and are there potential trades? But they have to start considering those things. They don't have to act yet, but you need to put yourself in position that if this continues throughout the spring, they've got a plan B. I can definitely understand Manoa getting less benefit of the doubt. The Jays open the regular season a month from Wednesday in Tampa. We'll see what Manoa's role will be on this team. That's our baseball insider, Steve Phillips.